What's up, Ultimate Schools? Mr. Miller here with your Monday morning announcements and welcome to yet another fantastic week here at the Mesa. Wonderful week we had last week. Four days uh, coming back off of spring break. Now we're back into that five day a week rotation, so our normal five day a week. Uh, at the time of recording this, the Sacramento Kings are just starting to play the Golden State Warriors, so I am rooting on the Kings as I am a Kings fan since childhood, uh, so I'm hoping they win. But the time by the, by the time you're watching this, we will know whether the Kings have won or not, so hope and, hope, hope and beyond hope that the Kings have won the game. But guys, let's get ready for a great full week here. Last week in April, and also what that means is next week, as May comes, it is state testing time. We'll talk a little bit about that a little later uh, in what we're talking about. So uh, we're looking for a, a lot of great things happening this week, guys, as we move back to five days. But as we always do, let's start out first with our character reminder on Perseverance, which is gonna play big next week in cast testing and things like that. But let's look first at our character trait of Perseverance and let's go over to Mrs. King's class to remind us about Perseverance. Go ahead. I can't do this backflip. Why can I do it? I can't do it. Oh yeah! This math problem is hard. I don't know how to do this. Oh, yes! is to keep trying even when it's hard. All right, thank you, Miss King's class. Great reminder there for uh, perseverance and how we can push through and continue uh, to persevere through things. All right, let's send it over to the cafeteria for our meal reminder for this week. Hi guys, Miss Claudia and Miss Megan here. We're gonna go over the menu for the week. Monday, we're gonna have fruit bread. For lunch, we're going to have French toast, sausage, and hash browns. Tuesday's gonna be pancake on a stick. For lunch, will be chicken and cheese quesadilla. Wednesday's gonna be yogurt parfait. For lunch, will be a cheeseburger with tots. Thursday's gonna be benefit bars. For lunch, will be spaghetti and a garden salad. Friday's gonna be Cook's Choice as always. For lunch, we're gonna have pizza and our special treat will be birthday cupcakes to celebrate April birthdays. Have a great week. All right, thank you, Miss Megan and Miss Claudia for that great reminder. All right, guys, hey, we have a lot starting this week. First, uh, I'm gonna start out with sports. Uh, we have uh, our 4-5 softball will be starting, boys and girls softball will be starting this week uh, with games. Uh, we have first to start off this week, we have Alta Mesa softball for our girls going to Shasta Meadows. So Shasta Meadows, uh, both softball, or sorry, girls softball will be going to Shasta Meadows while boys softball will be at Rother and that is on Tuesday. On uh, we have practices, of course, and then on Thursday, we have our four or five uh, girls softball. Girls softball will be at Lassen View, and then our boys softball will also be at Lassen View, and that is on Thursday. So Tuesday and Thursday games for our softball teams. One of my favorite sports to watch. The weather is just beautiful. Get outside. It's like perfect. Uh, and so, you know, if you have a chance, head out when we're at home game to our softball, or you can follow them to the other games. But when we're at home, which will be coming up, make sure you make it to our softball games. Hey guys, um, on uh, we have all of our clubs happening this week. Of course, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, we have our basketball camp happening on Wednesday with Mr. Havlina, our third grade basketball camp. We have STEM club happening with Mrs. Randolph on Tuesday and Thursdays. Remember, second through fifth grade on Tuesdays, first through third on Thursdays, 2.30 to 3.30 for our STEM club. We have uh, our softball practices also happening in conjunction with the games this week, so make sure you talk to your coaches on practice schedules. Yearbook club uh, will be happening on Thursday the 27th as we are nearing the finalizing of our school yearbook. Excited about that. Your parents can order a yearbook online on the newsletter. Garden Club, of course, happening as well. And that is on Tuesdays from 2.15 to after three o'clock. So we got a lot happening this week, but two things that I want to mention beyond just what we have, have happening this week. The first thing that I want to mention is Wednesday is a big day. 
We have a couple folks at this school that make a huge impact on the entire school community. Uh, actually, three people that make a huge impact on our entire school community. Two in our office and one in our health office. And Wednesday is Secretary's Day. We celebrate these folks, folks Miss Kayleen, Miss Michelle, Miss Kamei. They do an unbelievable job here in our school, our student service clerk, our secretary, and our health, our, our health clerk. They do an absolutely amazing job taking care of students, taking care of staff, taking care of our parents, taking care of just everybody. Our school would not run if we did not have these three amazing ladies. So if you are a student at some point this week and you end up in the office, make sure that you say happy Secretary's Day. Or if you are a student that ends up in the health office, make sure you say happy Secretary's Day to these three women who make such a huge impact on our school. Thanks from the bottom of my heart. I know all of the parents and all of the staff and all the students. Thank you, our wonderful secretaries, for the amazing job you do. So I just wanna shout that out. Shout out to our secretaries. It's Secretary's Day on Wednesday and we're gonna celebrate you guys. Next thing I wanna talk about is next week is for our third through fifth grade students, the state test time. I wanna just encourage all of our students, please, Take care of yourself over the next three weeks. We want to put forth the best effort. Best uh, kind of comparison I can have to state testing is it's like the, the game for practices that have been happening all year. Your teachers have been preparing you, working hard. You guys have been working hard. And now it's like game time for state test. It's to show all of the stuff that you have worked on, all the knowledge you have gained through this year. And I know sometimes we can say, ah, I don't like really like taking tests, but I implore you, I ask you as a part, for your behalf, for our school's behalf, for your teacher's behalf, try your best on state tests as it starts next week. There'll be some more messaging starting or happening next week, but try really hard on the state test. It's kind of our score scorecard for the year on how we're doing academically. And I think that we can go out there and I think that we can put ourselves at the top up, up against any school in the area by the amount that you guys have worked in the class, the amount that your teachers have worked in class imparting that information to you, you guys doing a great job of, of gaining that information. So we wanna put our best foot forward, Alta Mesa School, on how we can prepare for state testing next week. So I am, I am ready for it. I think you guys have done an amazing job. We have just been growing and growing and growing all, all school year long to prepare for this moment, state test. State testing will be over about the next three weeks for our third through fifth grade students. Um, we'll be giving you breaks in there. We're gonna be doing a lot of incentives. Um, we're gonna be doing the brain bucks throughout state testing so you guys can cash it in for Otter Pops, things like that. So a lot of cool stuff to incentivize you guys, but I am just asking you guys, let's put our best foot forward for state testing. Anyway, guys, that's next week, so let's focus on this week. Let's do the things we gotta do to make this the best week ever.